Hi, uh, in this video, I want to share a quick tip uh, for debugging your PCF controls. So now we see a um, VS Code. In VS Code, we see a project that uh, that I have built uh, that has a PCF control. So the source code is readable. Uh, it's all working fine. You can probably even uh, uh, debug this in the harness. Okay, it's all fine when you're actually developing it. After, when you, when you actually deploy the solution, you have two options to deploy the solutions. Either you can actually deploy it as a managed solution or you can deploy it as an unmanaged solution. Most of the time when you're running the command to package of the solution, you use this command. If I go into the command prompt, use this command uh, msbuild slash t colon rebuild. Once you do this, it will actually build, up, build the solution in the development mode. So let me run this command. So now it's using the MS build uh, utility to run the, to uh, build the solution. So it's gonna run a series of uh, NPM commands as well uh, because all the logic is actually in NPM. So it's uh, running that. After this finishes running, uh, you will have a build.js that is the packaged up uh, uh, concatenated like you know bundled uh, file because uh, you might have multiple files on your uh, project so what the webpack does will uh, it'll actually package up everything into one single javascript file so now you can see it has finished so now if i jump into the folder so i can jump into the debug folder because when you actually do the uh, T rebuild without specifying anything, it actually builds a unmanaged solution. I can confirm this by going to this solution. I go and open up the solution. If you go into this node, it says manage equal to zero. Manage equal to zero means it's actually unmanaged solution. So you, it's okay to deploy an unmanaged solution on a development environment uh, when you're troubleshooting it or when you're kind of uh, building it up. But if you're deploying this to production, you want to deploy a minified version of uh, your script just for performance reasons. Uh, so in that scenario, you also want to uh, deploy it as a managed solution because it's a production instance. So in order to do that, you will actually uh, add an additional parameter to your command, t rebuild p configuration release. So let me run it again. So it goes through the same kind of process again, except in this case, it is going to build, a, it, when the, the bundle.js is going to be minified, uh, so you pretty much won't be able to make, uh, it's not human readable. It's going to be, it's it's going to work the same way uh, unminified version works, but it's not going to be human readable. Another thing it does is, uh, it actually uh, packages up into a managed solution. <clears throat> That's what you want to deploy into production. Okay, now it has finished running. So if I go into the release folder this time, instead of debug folder, it's a solution again, except this time when I open a solution, you can see it's saying it's managed, right? So I have, uh, now I have built a managed solution. I can deploy this to production. So I have a copy of the solution that I've already deployed to production. So I will show the, uh, control that has been built. Okay, here is the PCF component I have built. So this is actually uh, operating on the view level and it's displaying the records as a card. The The control is not important in this scenario. I, what I want to go through is uh, what happens behind the scenes. So if I, I'm on edge, so if you're on Chrome, it it is the same key uh, shortcut. So control shift I. So once I do control shift I, <coughs> it opens up the dev tools go into sources. Now, control P, type control P, and then bundle.js. So this is the file that has been deployed. As you can see, you can't really, you can't read this first thing, and you can't put a breakpoint. You can probably try clicking this pretty print icon, and then try to, try to make it like readable, but it's just all gibberish to me. It's just, I can't really read, uh, make sense out of it. But if I jump into my project again, it's all like, you know, I can make sense of this. Like, you know, I have a TSS file, I have a TS file. I can make sense of this. But how do we actually debug this on the on the production? Because now I have deployed the solution to production. I want to deploy this. I want to debug this, but I don't want to debug this, uh, debug it this way because it's very confusing. So how do, what do I do now? So there is a way you can actually uh, make this experience better. So that is by enabling source maps. 
so what do i mean by source maps so if i go into uh, the solution right you have in install all your npm dependencies so what you have to do is uh, you go into node modules and then you go into the very bottom there should be pcf so you go into this folder called pcf scripts right once you go into pcf script you go into there is a file called webpack dot webpack config dot js open up that file and add this one line right after this i don't know it can be anywhere but i just put it straight after build mode i just add like dev tool if build mode is production value will be source map otherwise value is none so what this does is it will actually uh, when it builds up the file it will actually build up a bundle.js as well as a bundle.js.map file once again this is the change you have to make go into pcf scripts and then so this is a full path node modules pcf scripts webpack config.js and add this file uh, add this line dev tool if build mode is production should be source map otherwise it should be none so i have built this again using the ms build td build production configuration release so now if i go into my out and controls and then if i go into my um, output folder i can see there is a bundle.js and there is a bundle.js.map so let me just jump into the solution now so this is the production solution file that i am going to deploy you can see okay it's all in controls i go into the cards you can see that there's a bundle.js and there's a bundle.js map on the solution right but it won't come up on the uh, it won't come up on the um, uh, debugger tools so if i just jump into my debugger tools and then i just say once again control shift i and then I type once again, like, okay, this is already open because I opened it before, bundle.js. But if you don't, didn't, if it just starts out of the blank page, control P, and then you just type bundle.js. Once you do bundle.js, right, right click on this tab and say reveal in sidebar. So if you reveal in sidebar, it's, uh, there's only bundle.js. And here it says source map detected. If I say more, and it says associate file should be added on the file tree, but nothing seems to be happening. Like it, I just like I, I'll try to refresh it again, but, but nothing is going to happen because uh, you can't find the source map. So it's there. Still, I see gibberish. I can't read anything. I say reveal in sidebar. Nothing is there. So how to work around this issue? That's where Fiddler uh, uh, is helpful. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run Fiddler. So Fiddler is actually a HTTP debugging proxy, like I said in the earlier example. So I'm running Fiddler at the moment. And uh, first thing I'll do is usually set up a filter to capture it, capture only the uh, correct business process, uh, correct uh, task uh, or the process window. So if I go into Fiddler, all I just want to track is the, so this is a bit confusing. So you need to actually open it up like this, and then you have this, you have this kind of like a scope thing. You just like drag and drop it into the process. I just drag, I just delete everything now. So now it's going to capture only the traffic on edge because I don't want any other process to kind of clutter my session. So now another thing, you have to go into auto responder and set up this rule. Map it to the location where you have the the, the JS map, the bundle.js.map file. For me, it's in this location, the physical location. And on this, you say request. If the request matches bundle.js.map, you just uh, you just uh, the fiddler will just serve this uh, particular file. So now I have actually uh, set up this uh, mapping, and I just can say capture traffic. It's is capturing now. And what I usually do is I do this quick. I I usually do this just to just to work around the issue about the caching because I don't want to I don't want to have take the chance that uh, maybe there is some cache that is uh, serving old content. So I I go into Dev Tools, Control Shift I, right? Once you have Dev Tools open, go back into this again. On the refresh icon, press Shift. Once you press Shift, you get all these additional options. Options. So now you, you choose empty cache and hard refresh. So I do that. <clears throat> empty cache and hard refresh. After you do empty cache and hard refresh, let's jump back again into the thing. So now 
it's a change right you see bundle.js and you also have this additional ones let me just close everything close all tabs right so let me just go into my file uh, my uh, project so in my project you can see uh, this is the output folder and if i go into my project i have my actual source code is under this particular folder i have this file called bpf cards app.tsx let's try to locate that so i go into uh, dev tools control p again bpf cards.tsx okay i can see that right click on the tab and say reveal in sidebar so you can see my entire folder structure so uh, let me just compare this so if i go into the right i pin this one to the left so i can see that the folder structure is matching so i have business plus of bpf card app business process flow card app index.tx everything so i have my exact like you know i have node modules i have web pack i have everything set up so what happens if i try to put a breakpoint on index.ts right and this is another uh, uh, thing uh, so if you, i put a breakpoint on the init because that's a starting method that's a method that will kick start the control so i'll press control r now so control r is going to reload the page the page is reloading you can't see that because i have uh, in the background so now you can see it's reloading now i jump back i'm back on the debugger so it's it's actually hit the breakpoint on the typescript file so i am actually debugging the typescript file not the compiled javascript file this makes me this makes it a lot easier because now i have the full i have the full debugger experience like so i have the full debugger experience which means i can just inspect the method i can just like you know f8 just run into the next breakpoint uh, i can uh, like you know dev tools is very powerful so you have the full dev tools experience and you don't need to mm, debug in uh, uh, the compiled javascript so yeah this makes uh, makes it a lot, lot easier so this is just some one quick tip that i wanted to share i uh, hope uh, hopefully it will be helpful to for you to uh, develop the custom controls as well as like you know just to debug it if you encounter any issues because sometimes when we are actually deploying uh, testing this in harness there might be some some particular uh, features that may not be available for example like you know you have the whole bunch of features under uh, if you go into manifest uh, there are a whole bunch of features that are not available to debug in the harness for example these ones right if you maximize this like all these device capture audio capture image you, like in you know, a web api you can't really mock that so it's not available in the harness suite. so in order to debug that you have to actually deploy it if you deploy it under production like yeah you'd lose the ability to debug but with this uh, with this uh, kind of uh, fiddler and uh, source map you should be able to debug things very easily uh, so yeah thank you for watching the video hopefully you learned something new uh, uh, yeah just follow me on um, the twitter or like uh, my blog i'll continue to post some uh, videos on like you know the short uh, um, developer friendly things that i i hope it'll be useful for everyone uh, yeah thank you